Hey everybody, you have been asking for a home tour, so I am giving you one today. And we're gonna keep it super casual, like your friend's coming over and we're just walking through the house. So I'm gonna do it vlog style. Bubba's is going to probably join us for most of the way. But I'm going to walk you through each room and talk you through a little bit of what's going on in the house, where I got things, how I made it, and then down below, leave comments around anything that you see, and I will definitely follow up. So we are just going to dive right in. When you walk into our front door, this is the view that you're greeted with. The bottom floor is really open and airy, which Stephen and I moved from a 100-year-old house that was very boxy, so this has been really refreshing. On your right-hand side is our entryway table, and I keep it really simple and minimal. Any glassware you see, like my candlesticks here, all of that comes from Goodwill. And this little pillar over on that end, we picked up at an antique store for like $25. It was an old banister of some kind. Now that is on the right when you enter, and on the left is our dining room. And Bubba's is gonna be checking out the window. That's his little bench. He hangs out there a lot. You'll see that our style is very bohemian, eclectic, and a little bit of rustic all mixed together. I really like things to feel like we've collected them over time. That table comes from World Market, and then the clear chairs. I actually was inspired by Christina Brawley's channel along with this awesome American flag from Urban Outfitters that she had in her dining room. I just think it adds a really cool, a graphic print. We chose to frame it. Then there's just a simple bar cart. And then we have this buffet. I actually paid $50 for this at a yard sale. I stripped it down and painted it with Annie Sloan chalk paint, changed out the knobs, and this is a piece that looks so high end and we love it. Here's a little tip from me to you. Don't think that every piece of art or every mirror has to hang up on the wall. A lot of times if you want a more casual, less formal vibe, it looks really great to just lean them against the wall. Over in this corner of the dining room, I have two little tiered marble tables along with a little ceramic garden stool and then just a cluster of wall art. You'll see that everything in our house typically stays in the gray, black, white family with some pops of color. But when you take a scan of this space, you can see that the palette is very neutral. Now that we're done with the dining room, I'm gonna go ahead and keep walking through our entryway. We have a big coat closet here, and then to the right is our home office. This is probably one of our favorite spaces. The S is there for Stephen and I's last name. And then we floated the desk in the center of the room. And then I think one of the things that got most comments on my Instagram is our bookcase. This comes from the store Our House, that's A-R-H-A-U-S, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful bookcase, and it also has this amazing ladder. I think every kid's dream is to have a bookcase with a ladder at some point. Easy way to arrange your books. Don't worry about size, don't worry about any of that. Just stack them by color and then arrange them by color. It makes it all look pulled together, and actually not arranging them by size makes it look even cooler. Now, make sure that you set some horizontally and some vertically to help balance it out. When you set them horizontally, it works really well as your bookends if you don't have any. Then as you walk out of the home office, you enter this big open space of our kitchen, our breakfast room, you hear our cuckoo clock, and our living room. So in our living room, it was really important that we kept with the neutral theme, but added some pops of color. And you all know that I'm really digging blush right now. These couches are from Pottery Barn. It is the rolled arm English sofas that we have. And the color is called Harbor Blue. There you can see the color really well. Then we just have a collection of pieces of different woods. Don't be afraid to switch up the wood tones. You'll see in this room there are like three different shades of wood and they all work. Next, we added these stripes above the fireplace along with this really cool deer head once again from our house. Stay tuned to Christy Russell and I's collab video coming to you this weekend. I'm going to teach you how to paint the perfect stripe in your house. And then everything else is really simple. We have some pops of color, some pops of blush, and then some really interesting table. This is from Target, um, really reasonably priced. This chair, once again, is from our house. That ottoman right there, home goods. 
but you can see that you can bring in that southwestern bohemian eclectic vibe really easily with just a few pieces and like i said always make sure you have natural elements so this like very rustic wood bowl we also have some plants on the mantle as well as one really large leafy green plant over there in the corner. So walking out of our living room, you enter our breakfast room and our kitchen, which is truly the heart of our home and where everyone ends up staying. This built-in buffet houses all of our wine glasses, all of our barware, all of my white serving platters, and it was really important for us to have tons of storage. So as we walk through this house, you will see that there are so many cabinets and so much storage. On this side, we have, once again, another tablescape. You'll see it as a series of three, so it's an odd number anchored in a tray. Keep it simple. Tables from our house, chairs are from Overstock. The metal chairs go with every kind of decor. And then we just have a plant stand to bring in some more green. You'll see lots of plants around our house. And then lastly, we have this really cool sofa table that matches the table really well that wasn't planned. Once again, clusters of odd objects, a lamp from Target, a plant from Target, a dip tea candle burning. And then this thing right here is one of the coolest things ever. It's called a gramophone. You actually put your phone in there and it'll play the music and it gives it like that old tinny record sound. I really love this thing. It's great. When you walk into our kitchen, what we love about this space is they anchor the island with the dark wood and they also translated that dark wood around the refrigerator, but everything else is really light and really airy. And you'll see, this is where I really mix a lot of metals and wood materials. Once again, another arrangement anchored in a tray. And just to give you a quick scan, everything is stuff that I use and really simple, but you'll see the mix of metals really works. Oh, and this is truly one of my favorite things. So literally, you touch this. This Delta touch faucet is like life-changing, especially when you're cooking. Here's my tip to you. Everyone is constantly storing their cleaning supplies like in drawers because they don't want them seen. Make them decor, like the Mrs. Myers labels are beautiful. So by adding this easy cutting board that I bought at Home Goods and a little plant, they look more decorative than anything, but they're always within reach. It just gives it a whole different vibe. So that is our kitchen. We have gold hardware, white cabinets, and dark wood cabinets, and it just really blends and works together. And I love the space. Off of our kitchen, this is our mudroom. So off the garage, this is where you enter. This is literally where I drop everything. There are those pillows that I mentioned in my uh, home haul video. And this is a new rug that we got and it brings in that really cool bohemian vibe. These are posted on my Instagram and you all loved them. Overstock is the place for rugs, they're so cheap. Here is just a really big coat closet. You can check out my Instagram, I have pictures of that. And then this is just a simple powder room off the kitchen. And then what's really funny is this is our cow print. We didn't know where to put her. Her name is Ingrid and she's our cow and she watches you go to the bathroom because that is not awkward at all. Now we head into our laundry room. I love laundry so I actually have paid a lot of attention to detail. I just got back from a work trip not long ago so my Louis is still out on the washer and dryer. But just a simple mess sink and then we added these shelves and I just added some really cool decorative elements. Once again, all those candlesticks come from Goodwill for a dollar. Um, just because every space should be a space that you enjoy walking into. And then on this side, we have some feather prints. And then I painted a chevron just at the top of the wall to add some detail to it and then layered those prints over. So typically when we walk in the door, this is the way we walk in, straight into the kitchen. What's really handy is the garage is right off the kitchen, so you get your groceries to this huge, enormous island very quickly. So that is the downstairs of the home, and I'm gonna go ahead and take you upstairs and check out the four bedrooms and three bathrooms that we have up there. And yeah, let's go. So when you get upstairs, we have this very narrow hallway, and all the bedrooms are off of that. I have this really 
nice cabinet that's really nice and narrow. And then all of my brass lamps come from Goodwill for $5.99. And then I pick up a Target lampshade for about $10. And that's about it. That little stool right there is actually featured in my home goods haul video. I'll make sure that's linked down below because you could watch that and then see how a lot of these things incorporated into the house. On the left hand side is our first guest room, otherwise known as my mom and dad's bedroom. And it is a really simple black and white, really relaxed room. Just some bedside tables, a place to store shoes and extra blankets and a nice chair. What's really interesting about this house is there's no bathroom off of the main hallway because every bedroom in the house has its own bathroom. So here is the bathroom for this bedroom. It's super simple, has a very beautiful shower. And yeah, that's my parents' bedroom. Here's a really nice shot of it. That little green cabinet over in the corner is something we picked up at an antique store. And I just like the little pop of teal that it gives. This is my linen closet. If you want to see how I organize that, check out my Instagram. I just posted pictures of it on Sunday. Here is the next bedroom. And once again, it has a big walk-in closet. That's where I store a lot of my uh, scrapbooking stuff, planner stuff, craft closet. This is one of my favorite bedrooms. It makes me feel like I'm out of bed and breakfast. It's a simple canopy bed. I think we got it on Overstock for a really reasonable price. This room is really big, so big that we have a full-size sofa in it. That rhinoceros is one of Bubba's favorite toys, and he knows how to decorate because he left it there, and it goes with all the grays in here. Lastly, there's this ridiculous oil painting of a dog that I found at a antique store for a ridiculous amount of money in Bedford, Pennsylvania, but decided I needed it, and it has been in all of our spaces ever since. Now, we're going into what is the Jack and Jill bathroom, but what is so cool about this Jack and Jill is each bedroom gets its own sink. So you don't share a sink, you only share the toilet and the bathtub. So there's another pocket door here that you can close and lock so that the other person has access to the toilet and the bathtub. And this bathtub has like really beautiful tiling in it, um, all marble. Then they have their pocket door and in their bathroom, they have their own sink instead of cabinets. Really a lot of space for a guest bathroom. And then this is the third and final guest room. This one is Steven's favorite. This is where he'll go to hang out. He likes the rustic vibe of it. It's lots of tans and grays and blacks. Once again, there's another Goodwill lamp with a black lampshade. And that brings you to the end of the hallway. And then I will take you into our master bedroom. I love this light in our stairwell. It is like my favorite light in the whole entire house. And it is from, let me think, it is from World Market as well. So now we're gonna walk into our master bedroom and this is it. So it is all navy blues, which I do realize the lighting is not great, but this is what our bedroom looks like. You will see that we had a matching set, but I hated the fact that it matched. So I worked really hard to break it apart to give it that like collected vibe. So the bed matched the dresser and then there was this enormous mirror that matched it as well. I had Steven remove the mirror and we added this amazing rusticy white mirror instead to make it look less of a bedroom set. Then we got rid of the matching bedside tables and Steven and I picked ones that are very much our style. There's that one there and this one here. <laughs> whose do you think is whose? This is Steven. It's a little bit mid-century modern and not very cute. I mean, it's fine, but it's not very cute. And then this is mine. I need to tell you the story about this bedside table. It was at Pottery Barn and one of the mirror drawers was cracked and it was the floor model. They gave it to me for a ridiculous price. And then all I did is took paper that I liked and faced the drawers with it. 
and change it out the hardware and you would never know. And always mount your TV. Steven and I never mounted our TVs until we moved in this house. The difference in how streamlined and neat and tidy everything looks is remarkable. And then we have this little chair. Now we are walking into our master bathroom. Yes, Bubba's keeps a water bowl here. This door right here is to our walk-in closet. I'm actually gonna do like a big closet tour. No joke, this is literally like a bedroom. And we have an enormous double vanity in this bathroom that I absolutely love. There's my high mirror I've been talking about. There's all my ridiculous products. Once again, it's the same like eclectic, collected vibe. Lots of earthy bohemian hints to it with like the tassels on the towel that look very like hand woven. And then we have like this little drum table here. Once again, a collection of three objects. This really cool white lacquer turtle shell. Some stones and plants. And then here is my amazing bathtub that you see pictures of all the time. If you want to make your bathroom feel like a spa, add lots of candles, keep out products that you use a lot that also feel really luxurious, and then go to Goodwill, go to Goodwill. That candlestick is from there, and this little bowl that I keep my bath bombs in is from there. And then the other way to make it feel really luxurious is just buy a cutting board from Target and cluster all of your things onto that. It feels like a collection, um, and it feels really spa-like when you come into the bathroom. I keep my bath salts in another bowl from Goodwill, and look at that LaSource collection. A review is coming on all of those goodies. And then lastly, there's another separate room for the shower. Let me go ahead and hit the lights. So we have our toilet in here. Steven loves this octopus picture, so it has made its way into the bathroom. And then here is our enormous shower. You could literally host a party in there. So. That is this space. So this is our house. I know it was super casual. I wanted to do it vlog style, so it felt like you were a friend coming over and we were just walking through. If you saw anything or have questions about where I got something or how I decorated or just anything like that, just ask. Leave a comment down below. I answer every single one, but I hope this gave you a really good glimpse into our home. So I will leave this casual, friendly home tour like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Until next time, bye-bye.